it's your girl Karini here and happy blessed Thursday and happy blessed feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I am always, 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 always hyped up for another Marian feast day because really it's a day that we just have to just take on all of the blessings from our Blessed Mother Mary. She's always there like a true mother for all of us. No matter what we're going through in our life, we should not ever, we should never, ever, ever, ever forget about her. Because a lot of the times, like, we all just focus on Jesus Christ and God, but really, 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 the more we focus on our Blessed Mother Mary, the more we will become closer to her son, Jesus Christ. And it's very important that we always, always, always remember that because in order for us to become closer to her son, going through her is the best way to go. Because the more we try to go to Jesus Christ directly on our own, it's harder than through our Blessed Mother Mary. And definitely for sure, like in your trials and tribulations and in your times of trouble, she allows you to go through that journey in such an easier manner rather than doing it on your own. And so I've heard stories, I've heard testimonies from other sisters in Christ of mine, and essentially it's true. And so really, I could attest to that as well. So that's why if you have not already really been having our Blessed Mother Mary in your life, I highly recommend that you do. And you should start today because the best divine weapon against the enemy is her. And she's the one that will step on the enemy's head with her heel at the end of the day. So that's why we all should run to her in every of our one, our glorious moments, our victorious moments, our sad moments, our tough moments, and to never forget. So with that said, again, thank you so much for being here with me today. It's all for Christ, it's all for God. And really, I pray that you are flourishing and being fruitful in all your gifts and all your talents that God has uniquely blessed you with. It's very important that we ultimately use all of our gifts and our talents, especially because it's something that it's something that we just have to use it as our mission to reach out to so many souls out there that are lost, that are uncertain, that are just roaming this world seeking for eternal happiness in the midst of this world and not of God, you know? So that's why we just have to remember that we all are blessed with a wonderful, unique talent and gift. And that's why we should use that to proclaim God's word out there, to, to bring Christ out there, to bring our Blessed Mother Mary out there, and to really accomplish our mission being a true warrior for Christ and to never forget that. So I pray that you've been well. I hope that you and your family are doing well during this time pandemic. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's still pandemic season and we have to be very prudent in our mask time, you know, and I know it's a struggle. Hashtag mask struggles are just beyond my human comprehension right now <laughs> because really like the communication level you know very well i'm pretty sure you know you're smart <laughs> like just talking alone is like muffled and it's just <laughs> really <laughs> but it's for our own good right now and we cannot be reckless we cannot be frustrated you know this is a time for us to persevere and for us to be patient and for us to not ever 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 doubt god you know because it's it's god's perfect time you know so therefore if you're really praying about something right now praying about someone or your vocation don't give up stay strong stay fervent and trust in god's perfect timing he has his perfect time there's a reason why god planted that desire in your heart and for you to not let it go so that's why I just trust in God's time and don't give up and persevere in Christ. So with that said, let's get started. I want to talk to you guys about liberating yourself with Christ. You know, a lot of times we go through this struggle, 
right? Our trials and tribulations. And God permits that in our lives. You know very well about that. Because, you know, a lot of us in our times, we say yes to God and we have this renewal from within, right? I guess like from adoration and I've, I've heard testimonies where like people feel renewed in Christ and they feel that yes to Christ, right? And, you know, it's... It's unfortunate when you have, when you hear stories like they just say like yes and then when times get tough they just give up, you know, because it's not in their favor and it's just, they don't want to bear it, right? And so, you know, that's why like when it comes to saying yes, like it's simple, just saying yes to Christ and yes to God, but the, the more refined way of saying is the unconditional yes, you know, because... You know when you say yes and then you just give up when times get tough it's just it's the conditional yes because you have it on the basis that it, i'll just say yes when everything just follows according to my order my time and everything's in you know my liking basically right and so you know being a true word for christ especially tying into that we need to enable ourselves to just just to tell Christ yes, and I know it's going to come with battles, spiritual battles, trials, tribulations, that internal battle especially because the enemy will constantly, constantly attack you to thinking that you're not good enough, you're, you'll never get there, you'll never be perfect in God's eyes because your past is just so messed up. You know, and it's really important that we not allow ourselves to fall into that thought, you know, and also as well, too, like in the time of waiting, you know, a lot of thoughts tend to really get to your head because really it's just you trusting God, yes, but then it's just that waiting, that waiting, that waiting, that waiting. You don't know when the day is going to come when you really want to do that. That task that God has like un has placed in your heart to do and you're just waiting for that perfect time that perfect yes that God's like okay today's the day you shall do that you know and also as well like you know even for jobs too like if you're in the search for a new job right now you're just waiting for that email confirmation or whatnot and it's very important that we allow ourselves to be more grounded, to be more firmly rooted in Christ in every day of our lives, right? Because the fact that God permits trials and tribulations and tough times in our life is not because God hates you, you know? No, it's because God loves you very much. I know you're like, what? No, because it's the fact that God's trying to prune you to bear more fruit, Right? And he can see that potential that you have with that special gift that he has blessed you with. right? And it's very important that we not look at it like God's just punishing us because of whatever we've done in the past. No, he's calling you to greatness. He's calling you to become a better, true warrior for Christ. right? And plus, really, through Jesus Christ, he's the one that frees us from the heaviest burdens. Jesus Christ will frees you from the heaviest burdens that you have deeply embedded in your heart, right? So therefore, give it to Christ, give it to God, give it to our Blessed Mother Mary, and the burden will be off your shoulders once and for all, you know? And that's why the heaviest weight that we carry is our sins. That's the heaviest, heaviest, heaviest thing that we carry every day is our sins. So therefore, run to confession. Allow that sacrament of confession to be that liberation for all your sins, all your venial sins, all the small sins that are just there in the corners that need to be totally eradicated from your life, right? And it just removes that wearisome oppression you know, and you, it will liberate you to be free and to live a better life for Christ. So don't forget that. Don't forget right. to add on to that. When we stay close to Christ, we look at problems that we encounter in our day-to-day -day life. With, we take on that challenge with a deeper meaning, 
you know, and we have a different perspective on it, you know, instead of looking at it as like, oh, God's punishing me because he's whatever I did in the past. No, like look at it, look at it in a different vantage point. And from there, you will grow because your closeness with Christ will not will not prevent you from falling astray because you will see those trials and tribulations with a more wiser point you know instead of looking at it as like oh no it's just god's showing me that i'm not good enough no no you will be able to have a more positive mindset and a more more confident bolder mindset in taking on those trials and tribulations in your life you know and it'll prevent you from having those restless times of doubt and those restless times of discouragement and those restless times of doubt that you're not good enough right so that's why like instead of it looking at it as our cross we look at it as Christ's cross with you Christ's cross with you so that it will purify you more and it will allow you to think that you will just co-redeem with Christ you will co-redeem with Christ and from that point on your evil inclinations Will disappear and you will grow in virtue right so really that's why i look at those trials as the more fruitful stretches of all the most fruitful stretches of all and because god will stretch you to become better and better and better you know and you'll be able to be more fruitful when you overcome those trials and tribulations in your life you know so that's why we just have to embrace those times of trial and tribulations and to be ready for those sorrows you know because with Christ you enable you enable yourself to become more at peace when those times of trial and tribulations come into your life because you're you're more accepting you're more open to it and you see it with the point that god's calling you for greatness and god's calling you for a better mission and god's calling you for a higher higher achievement right so that's why in terms of becoming better in our virtues it doesn't come easy. It's not something that you just get overnight, plop. <laughs> it's something that, you know, it comes with effort and with those trials. In order for you to become more patient, the time of waiting is that pruning time, you know? For you to become more patient in your life, those times of waiting is the way to go for you to become better, right? Or really, it's just, it's not easy. It's not something that you just tell yourself, okay, I'll become patient now. No, it, beca it really becomes better through those experiences, right? So that's why don't be afraid to ever testify in your, your experiences and how you encountered Christ. You know, it's very easy for us to fall astray when times get tough, yes. But when you're close to Christ, you're more grounded, as I said, and you're not going to fall astray that easily because you are so rooted in Christ and you're so rooted in the Blessed of the Mary that the enemy trying to make you quit is like, no, like I'm not quitting because of A, B, and C. No, the more reason you'll be encouraged to do better, better the more reason that you will be striving to become better because again you're grounded in christ and you're deeply rooted in christ right so therefore always strive to to go to really go deeper with christ it's something that you know we really have to plant our heart to do you know and to condition our heart and our mind and our soul to do so that's why when god calls you back home you're ready you're ready to meet God face to face. You're ready to meet Jesus Christ face to face, and you will not be afraid. You know the thing that really makes us afraid well, the that's most. That's why, is that. if God really allows you to go through that burden, that time of tribulation, He will grant you the grace to bear it all. He will grant you the grace to bear it all. 
you know it's very unfortunate that a lot of people in society today in our world especially just blame everything on god you know it's like why is god allowing this pandemic to happen why is god it's just i rarely hear the time that people say like thank you god for this thank you for giving me this trial and tribulation so that i'll grow in virtue and i'll grow in my spirituality and i'll be able to grow as a person closer to you you know it's very rare that i ever hear that you know and that's why being a true warrior for christ we have to really put the message out there that when god permits see those trials and tribulations those burdens those heavy burdens he will grant you the grace to bear it all because he loves you he's so merciful he's so full of divine goodness you know that's that second part is always the part that people just leave out the door you know and that's why being a true word for christ we cannot cannot allow the world to overcome us with all the negative thoughts and all the negative chaos all about our faith like i know there's so much chaos happening right now with the vandalism and the statues and whatnot and even reached home here in toronto and it's unfortunate what's happening but you know we shouldn't let that discourage us we have to fight with our blessed mother mary we have to fight we have to fight through prayer, through our depth and our spiritual relationship with Christ. That's our way of fighting, not through violence. You know, we have to speak up when the time is right. We cannot be silenced by the enemy. You know, with the enemy, you know, threatening us with all the chaos in this world, it's not going to distract us. It's not going to make us quit. But rather, it's going to make us strive to be, to really fight against what's happening right now, but not through violence, but through the love and mercy and the power and strength of God is the most powerful weapon we have, you know, and that's why the cross of Christ is the road to happiness and effectiveness. The cross of Christ is the right road to happiness and effectiveness. You know, it's very important that we not allow anything to make us quit. You know, it's very easy for us to quit and the enemy has his ways to make us quit by placing all the hardships in our life, left, right, center. That's how he is. He has his ways, which is so evil on every level. But God can see that you're fighting it. You know, from your heart, your soul, physically, mentally, spiritually, and you will be accomplishing so much greatness out of it. You know, and so that's why it's for the sake of our of our own accomplishment for Christ. It's not because God hates us. No. Like God can literally stop everything in like a snap of a finger, but he per he lets things happen. He permits things to happen so that we will fight it. We will not fail. We will not give up. He will grant us the grace to endure it all and to never, ever let the enemy win, you know? So that's why no matter what we're facing, no matter how heavy the burdens are, God is there. Christ is there. Blessed Mother Mary is there. Wear the scapular. Don't be afraid to really show Christ from within your heart. Reflecting Christ from your heart is very important that we do every single day. Therefore, take on every opportunity you can to bring Christ to someone else. For them to encounter Christ. You know, through you. Let God use you as an instrument for that person to encounter Christ and to not lose that opportunity because really every opportunity that God places in your life is an opportunity for for growth from within your heart. That's why we have to really trust that God just wants us to bear our difficulties peacefully, peacefully and firmly, peacefully and firmly. Those are 
two important elements that we have to think about when we have our trials and tribulations we have to have to have to as a true word for christ bear it all peacefully and firmly you know so it's so easy to say i know what you're thinking but like what the heck is the person talking about <laughs> really because we just have well, the more you have peace in christ the more you will be able to endure it all with happiness and firmly and the more it will enable you to place your trust more in christ your confidence more in christ being bold for christ and not being afraid to talk about it to others you know utilize all your gifts and your talents if you know you want to be more of a talker for christ try god helps those who helps themselves you know and don't be afraid to start something new don't be afraid to go against this world proclaiming christ out there right it's very important that we have to face all these matters <laughs> the chaos of this world basically but you know facing it all in a cheerful manner with christ in your heart is the key secret in doing it all really because people that can be so bubbly or so like happy and not reflect what they're going through in their life is literally amazing you know because they're so at peace they're so at peace they're so united with christ and they don't feel the burden you know they don't feel the burden of waiting for something that you know it's just they that person used to be so stubborn about it before right so really the more you're at peace with christ the more cheerful you will be and the more you will be able to endure all your trials and tribulations so effortlessly you know because really nothing of this world will grant you that love that peace and that happiness except the blessed of mother mary jesus christ and god always remember that always always remember that and so that's why take every trial take every trial as your great opportunity to toughen yourself and to deepen your love for Jesus Christ, our Blessed Mother Mary, and God. Take that opportunity. Take that trial as an opportunity to deepen your love and to toughen yourself up for Christ, for God, and for our Blessed Mother Mary. And plus, really, everything through our Blessed Mother Mary is the best way to go through life because she brings you you closer to her son jesus and that is her mission like if you really look go online and you look up the apparitions there's one message that really is so so common in each of the apparitions which is drawing all of her children closer to her son jesus through the rosary penance and repenting you know it's so beautiful like that you know to be able to to draw yourself closer to your son jesus through her and bearing all of your problems and your trials and your relations through her with such peace and feeling like a feather and the enemy hates that that's why you know, the enemy will try even harder to just rock that boat of peace within your heart every single opportunity he can. I've seen it with my sisters in Christ. They will become so deeply rooted in the Blessed Mother Mary, and then out of nowhere, they'll just feel this restlessness overcome them. And I would just tell them, girl, really, it's the enemy attacking. It's the enemy trying to shake your boat of peace, trust, confidence, and boldness in Christ because of our blessed mother mary so really don't be afraid don't be afraid to face what's happening don't be afraid to face really everything to close off with god's with god's presence and the protection of our lady you are good to go you are good to go to be a truer for christ to be liberated with christ 
and you will never ever ever have the enemy attack you because you're deeply rooted you have nothing to fear like the enemy can only just threaten you here and there or just throw a little like teasers here and there but through the protection of our blessed mother mary and through god's presence it will just bounce off like what what was that did i hear like a wind <laughs> it's true i know it i make it sound funny but it's just it's true that's how it is you know and the enemy just doesn't like the fact that the more people draw closer to her and through her to her son jesus it's like <laughs> it's like a cringe to the enemy you know and it's very important that we don't we don't let allow the enemy to rattle us up you know making you feel like oh what if what if what if what if what if like any thoughts that come to your mind that have the word what if you know and like i'm not good enough or i don't feel that i deserve this or i don't think i'm what i'm doing is enough like thoughts like those that's the enemy just telling you like just quit come to me it's a lot better this way no he is the the worst liar in the world <laughs> it's true because he will just deceive you in thinking that you'll achieve greatness if you follow his direction no run to our blessed mother mary run to jesus christ you know when you run to Je when you run to our blessed mother mary you run to jesus christ as well like she's like holding your hand right like a true mother and bringing you closer and purifying you more presentable to her son jesus and it's so beautiful like that so that you'll be able to you know just endure everything feeling like a little feather floating you know so really don't be afraid to face this world because you have the best weapons the divine weapons ever and you have the most unique gift deeply in, rooted inside your heart that God has blessed you with to use to glorify God's name and not the glory of ourselves. Always remember that. Whenever you're in a parish volunteering, being a youth minister, being, you know, ministering in the young adult, you know, and music ministry especially, don't be afraid. Yes, you'll encounter cases here and there, whatnot, but reflect christ in your heart to others around you because the enemy uses people that are closest to you unfortunately but it's true the enemy will use the people that are the closest to you to really make you fall astray so see the signs see the signs don't second guess yourself because god talks to you in your intuition as well so don't, don't, don't second guess yourself. That's one thing that we all should not do, second guess ourselves, because that's when the enemy just like makes you guess and makes you doubt, just like that. So really, I know it's a gloomy day here in Toronto, but the weather should not affect you. You should be the sunshine of Christ out there. So even if it's raining, gloomy, snowing, God forbid it's not going to snow here in the summertime. But really, no matter what the weather is, it shouldn't affect your mood. It shouldn't affect how you will be like today. Because you shall be the fire of illumination for Christ. That's one thing that we have to always remember deep in our heart. So with that said, and as I always love saying in all my videos, don't be afraid to be true warriors of Christ. 